Warning. Toluene is carcinogenic and highly flammable, potassium permanganate is a very strong oxidizer, lab coat, gloves, and goggles are absolutely mandatory, the experiment must be performed in a fume hood or in a well-ventilated area. Today, we will synthesize benzoic acid starting from toluene that we have obtained in a previous video out from a paint remover, in order to do so we will carry out a classic benzylic oxidation of an aromatic alkene using potassium permanganate. Materials and reagents required 10 ml of pure toluene 10 g of potassium permanganate 130 ml of distilled water First the potassium permanganate is added to an Erlenmeyer flask in addition to a magnetic stirring bar. Then, 130 ml of distilled water are poured into the flask. The system is stirred for a while until most of the potassium permanganate is well dissolved. Then the toluene is slowly added to the flask. Finally a reflux condenser is attached at the top of the flask. Then, the system is heated up until the solution is brought up to reflux. The reaction taking place is a classical oxidation of the benzylic position of a general aryl derivative. Despite the fact that this reaction has been known for decades the mechanism is not really well known, so we are not going through it. You can clearly see how the system starts to reflux after a while. The system is left under reflux for an overall time of 3 hours. The overall reaction taking place can be described by the following chemical equation. As you may have noticed, we have used an excess of toluene with respect to the stoichiometric ratio, this is done to avoid the presence of unreacted potassium permanganate as well as secondary reactions. Here you have a time lapse of the whole reaction. Notice that as the reaction proceeds the manganese dioxide nanoparticles stick to the walls of the flask creating a nice reflective coating. Once the reaction is finished, the system is allowed to cool down to room temperature. This is the final reaction mixture, you can see that there is not permanganate left and that a nice brown to black precipitate corresponding to manganese dioxide, has appeared at the bottom. The solution is then filtered under vacuum and the black precipitate is washed with distilled water. The remaining crystal clear solution contains potassium benzoate, which is water soluble so to obtain our final product, we only need to protonate the benzoate anion to produce benzoic acid which will precipitate out from solution. This is done by adding small amounts of concentrated hydrochloric acid until we get an acidic pH.
Ideally the final pH should be below 3 to ensure that all the product is in its insoluble form. The white precipitate obtained is finally filtered under vacuum, washed with distilled water and allowed to dry overnight. At the end, I have obtained a total of 1.63 grams of pure benzoic acid, which represents a 42% yield, this result is in accordance with the one described in the literature. Thanks for watching.